movie stars, fellow boxers, and even a former president. They all came to Louisville today to pay tribute to the greatest. Thousands of people filling the KFC Yum Center this afternoon for a memorial service honoring legendary boxer Muhammad Ali. It followed a funeral procession that lasted hours as it slowly made its way around Louisville. Tonight, people here in central Kentucky are also honoring Muhammad Ali. Garrett Weimers live in downtown Lexington now with our top story at 11. Garrett? The send off continues here in Lexington tonight as folks inside the Kentucky Theater watch a documentary tribute to Muhammad Ali. It's an appropriate way to end a day of saying goodbye to the greatest. It truly was a farewell fit for the champ. It is the choices that Muhammad Ali made that have brought us all here today. A long list of speakers addressing thousands in the arena and millions more, no doubt, around the world. By stretching society's boundaries as he did, he gave us levels of strength and courage we didn't even know we had. His widow was greeted by a standing ovation and chants of Ali. Muhammad wants young people of every background to see his life as proof that adversity can make you stronger. It cannot rob you of the power to dream and to reach your dreams. Each speaker sharing stories and memories, but more importantly, lessons. Ali forced us to take a look at ourselves. This brash young man who thrilled us, angered us, confused, and challenged us ultimately became a silent messenger of peace who taught us that life is best when you build bridges between people, not walls. Ending with a reminder of the impact he made and how we all have the power to do the same. Every single solitary one of us have gifts of mind and heart. It's just that he found a way to release them in ways large and small. As a three-time champion of the world, Ali certainly accomplished a lot as an athlete, but speakers at the service today remembered him more for his message. Live in Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Thank you, Garrett. The showing of the 1996 documentary, When We Were Kings, began at the Kentucky Theater a little over an hour ago. The film chronicles the 1974 Rumble in the Jungle fight between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. One man who came to tonight's showing says he wanted to do something to honor Ali. He was sort of an inspiration to me, and uh, I think an inspiration to all Americans, you know, that, uh, I, that are up against it or feel up against it. He, uh, he had the uh, courage, I guess, for lack of a better term, to uh, persevere despite the clouds above, you know, he was able to hang in there. When We Were Kings won an Academy Award in 1997. In Louisville, the day began with a 19-mile funeral procession, which passed some of the locations that were important in Muhammad Ali's life. Family and friends gathered this morning at a funeral home as Ali's body was placed into a hearse. Boxers Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis and actor Will Smith were among the pallbearers. Smith played Ali in the 2001 movie, Ali. Louisville city leaders estimate more than 100,000 people lined the streets of the city to watch that procession. It passed the Muhammad Ali Center, his boyhood home, and went through downtown Louisville before arriving at Cave Hill Cemetery, his final resting place. Some people threw flowers onto the hearse or touched it as it slowly passed by. The procession lasted more than two hours. People from hundreds of miles away traveled to Louisville just to see the procession. One man outside the boyhood home even brought his riderless horse. And what the riderless horse does is um, symbolizes that the leader has fallen and the boots are in the stirrups backwards waving goodbye for the last time. Ali's boyhood home on Grand Avenue in Louisville is now a museum and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. Tonight, the Ali family attended a reception at the Muhammad Ali Center in Louisville. It celebrates Ali's ties to the Olympics, including his gold medal win in boxing in the 1960 Olympics and his lighting of the Olympic flame at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. During the reception, the International Olympic Committee presented Lonnie Ali with a Olympic flag. 